guys, happy Sunday. We're back, Q&A Sunday number nine. So um, happy Sunday, you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm doing a Q&A every single Sunday. So if you guys have any questions uh, regarding wholesaling houses, drop it in the comment, join me live every single Sunday, and let's get your question answered, all right? And if I don't know the answer to it, I'll let you know that I don't know. So we got five people on, and there should be five thumbs up. Come on, you guys. Happy Sunday. Drop it in the comment. Let me know who is who's there. How are you guys doing? Happy Sunday. I just got back from the gym. I was trying to find ways to um, to put a comment or to put a post, letting you get, letting you guys know that I won't be able to make it at uh, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, you men, smash that like. That's right, you guys. Come on. We got 18 people. Smash those thumbs up, you guys. Um, Windsor, um, uh, Windsor, happy Sunday. Amarel, happy Sunday. Big D, happy Sunday. Johnson, I, I can't pronounce your first name. I, I don't know. What's up? <laughs> um, Jar... Uh, Gerard, happy Sunday. Smash those thumbs up, you guys. We've got 25 people on. I like it. Um, I want to say, you guys, thank you so, so much for every single one of you guys that have supported me. Uh, you guys have uh, came in and uh, 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 purchased my a little package deal, my little package script. I really appreciate it. I want to add as much value to you guys as possible. And all to do is I want to let you guys know this, that this business, you guys, is not going to be easy, all right? Anything that's worth having is not going to come easy. So remember, if you're going to come across a hurdle, you're going to come across a speed bump, it's it's going to challenge you, all right? It's going to challenge you, and it's going to pretty much it's going to say, do you want this bad enough? All right, you're going to come across that. That's why you guys got to understand that majority of people are not going to make it. All right, a majority of people will say, I want it, I want it, I want it, but not a lot of them. It's going to be, it's going to be able to accomplish or have what they, that, what they say they want because it's going to be hard. All right, and you're going to come across challenges that's going to challenge you and saying, do you really want this? And if you do really want it, you just keep on pushing and going and pushing and going until you can make it happen. And I want to let you guys know the first six months, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to take a little bit of time. I want to share a quick story with you guys. My wife and I, when I first got into real estate, we knew that it wasn't going to be easy, right? We knew it wasn't going to be easy. So at the beginning, we are we have made a commitment that we are going to dedicate and do whatever it takes morally, right? Whatever it takes and require of us to be successful at this. And I'll tell you guys, man... Five years, five years, almost six years ago, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be in real estate for almost five and a half years now. And I would never imagine when I first started that I would actually have my own channel with some of the greatest audience, some of the greatest subscriber ever. And uh, sitting here and sharing with you guys kind of my stories and, uh, and, and kind of sharing with you guys my journey. I, I, I never could imagine that. And um, every single night, and, and I remember when we first got in, um, I went to the seminars and every single night, right? And I got so inspired, so motivated um, because that I, that I knew that this is, man, if I can bring all this to reality, life would be so great. And you guys, you guys don't have to wait eight years of your life like I did when I first, you know, I, I spent eight years working at a company, working at a company when I first started making $8.50 because everybody around me was working at a regular job. I never got exposed to uh, to stuff like this. So if you guys are exposed and you know exposed to stuff like this, you know open up your awareness. You guys take action, make it happen. You know don't spend four to five years or six years or ten years working for somebody else's and make them rich. Instead, of you guys gotta you guys gotta willing to to to, to take some time and dedicate into your own business. All right. And making it happen so eventually you'll be able to not work for somebody else, but you'll be able to work on your own time whenever you want with whoever you want and being able to do what, you know, and being able to travel and uh, and, uh, and make the kind of money you want, all right? And when I first, man, my wife and I, we, we walk around, so I'm living in a neighborhood and we walk around this neighborhood every single night. Every single night, my, my wife and I would walk and we'll look and then, and then I mean, it's, it's so fresh and we'll look into, and we'll look up into the, uh, we'll look up into the sky and we're like, 
Oh gosh, please help us. Please give us a, give us the strength and and, and and let us push through this. And we're like, man, when are we get, when am I going to do my first deal? And then, you know, I, every single night I was walking, man, when am I going to uh, when I'm going to get my first deal because when you first started, especially, you know, you started out and, and you know nothing, it's just so much information it, and it can be overwhelmed, right? It can be overwhelmed and, and you get all stressful, especially you also have to work a, a, a job and take care of yourself, your finance, or maybe you have guys, you guys have families and kids and you got to worry about that as well. Man, it's, it's, it was so, so rough. We put a lot of money out investing ourselves, um, you know, a plane, plane ticket, hotel. My wife and I used to sleep in the car because we didn't want to pay. Uh, fifty dollars uh, to or fifty or sixty it was we uh, we used to stay at um, uh, 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 what's the hotel uh, Quality Inn right and we didn't want to pay the fifty sixty or, or, or seventy dollars uh, um, to uh, to sleep in the the hotel uh, so we can catch an early flight next uh, uh, in the next morning. Instead, we park at uh, well, we park at one of those uh, parking spot to get to the airport. It was like it, they charge you like twelve dollars uh, for uh, for one day or two day or, or whatever it was. And my wife and I would sleep in the car. And I and I remember my wife and I would like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, and and, and we would just uh, look at each other and kind of and 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 all we talk about is how great it would feel. And how good life will be when we get to that point. All right, you guys. So whatever situation you're going through right now, just don't let that, don't let that be something that holds you back. And then, uh, because when you look at your current situation, obviously it's not gonna amp you up. It's gonna get, it's it's not gonna get you all excited and uh, uh, to to keep going. So you gotta look into the future. You gotta be able to say, man, when I do my first deal, man, or well, you know. Or uh, or when I make fifty thousand, a hundred thousand, man. When I do my first deal, that I'm gonna make fifty thousand or sixty thousand or hundred thousand. It what it is is you want to put yourself in such an exciting and motivational um, uh, a state of mind that it pushes you to keep on going. All right. So you guys, dreams do come true, but you got to work hard at it. All right. So, anyways, you guys, and uh, so I just want to tell you guys that just quickly. And then I remember, you know, six months we're walking around the neighborhood. I, you know, every single night, my wife, and I, my wife and I would look, uh, would look up into the skies, and you know, and we just start talking about our goals and etc. The and then the and then the next round was when I, uh, you know, is is when we're first gonna do a hundred thousand uh, in real estate. Then it it was like a hundred thousand. My first, you know, it was a hundred thousand one wholesale deal, and then it just keeps on going. So. Just want to let you guys know that, but just keep pushing you guys. Just keep going. And I promise you, once you do your first wholesale deal, the rest is history. You're going to love it. Um, so let me give you guys some shout out. And then, um, sorry about that. I didn't want to take so much of you guys' time telling stories. I know for you guys that have been following me, it's probably kind of a repeat. It might be a little bit boring. Um, Strawberry, happy Sunday. Sergi No. Oh, man, hear me. Here I go with names. Surgeon, oh man. Surgeon, no, happy Sunday, you guys. If I mispronounce your name, I completely apologize uh, because I, I'm not very good with reading. We got 40 people on. Come on, you guys. Smash those thumbs. Penny, happy Sunday. Um, MC, happy Sunday. Um, is there a special contract for wholesaling? Uh, Emerald, there's no special contract for wholesaling. Um, well, I mean, there, there is contract, but I don't have a special contract. Somebody else doesn't have a special contract. Basically, it, 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 it's just a standard contract, but um, the contract is uh, pretty much is going to protect you as a buyer. So I'm not sure what you mean by a special uh, contract. We don't use the MLS contract. We use our own purchase and sell contract. Uh, DJ, what package? MRL, Russell, what package? Oh, uh, you guys, it's uh, so basically you guys been asking me about the, you know, if I have any um, uh, program, um, do I have any coaching or, or, or any courses? Um, so what I did was I ended up putting a package deal together. Um, so you guys can watch the last video. I, I don't want to go uh, too much into it, but I included in there the purchase and sell contract that we use, the addendum contract that we use. 
um, the a double closing contract between you and the end buyer where you don't want the end buyer to know how much you make. Um, I also put in there the ARV calculator, the rehab calculator for you guys. And uh, what I also added in there is two live seller call. You guys, two live seller call. One of them, like I was sharing with you guys, one of them, I got the guy on the contract just by over the phone. And I was competing against three or four other investors that actually came out and looked at the at the piece of property with the seller already, but I was able to tie the deal up even $5,000 less than what he initially got offered from another investor. And that's all about answering all the questions that's needed and um, uh, from the seller and then giving the seller the trust, the peace of mind, um, et cetera. Being, you guys, getting on the phone with the seller is crucial, knowing what to say and how to talk to them. It's very, 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 very crucial in this business, right? You can learn the marketing, et cetera, but man, when it comes to talk to seller, you gotta be good. Um, and what, trust me, you guys, when I first started, I didn't, you guys would laugh if you guys hear me talk to seller, but, um, over times, um, you know, over times, the more I learn from people, I gather information, I hear this, people ask this questions, this questions, and then I kind of test it out and then put it together where I felt right now with what we're doing. I can take the script and then hand it to anybody that, I, that we're going to hire on our team. And that's crucial. Anybody you hire on, hand them the script, tell them to learn it. Tell them to learn it, role play with them a little bit, and all of our girls were able to uh, book appointment, and then and then my purchase manager able to tie the deal up on the contract just with the script, and um, I'm so so that is the package deal, you guys. Um, let me give you guys some shout out. Any questions, pop it in. This is Sunday questions. This is Sunday Q and A. It's your guys' day. Pop in any question. I'll do my best to answer. So any question you guys have, also too, so you guys let me know. Um, if for those of you who, who are able to join me on um, the Saturday deal or no deal, um, let me drop me in a comment. Does that help or not? Is it good? You guys like it or not? If you guys do like it, um, then we are going to continue doing it. If you don't, um, then uh, obviously we're not. Um, so I am here for you guys. So pop in your questions. Uh, let me give you guys some shout out. OBT TV, OB1 TV. Happy Sunday. Hey Kong, love you and love your and your video. I have a few questions. Can you get a house under contract with no earnest money? Um yes, you can get a um you can get a house under contract with zero earnest money. Um but the th so now, let me tell you, I don't know about other states. I'm going to share with you kind of my experience and, uh, and, and, and kind of my experience and in my states, okay? So when we sent a con our, our contract out to the seller, um, we usually put in there $500, $500 earnest money, or you can put $1, or you can put nothing. But you guys got to understand, until the money is exchanged, that contract is not legal, all right? So until there's money exchanged, Oh shoot, I'm running out of battery. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Um running out of battery on the iPad, so um let me see here. Uh yes. Saved by the power core. So um so when there's no money in exchange, one dollar when there's no money exchange, that contract is technically uh, from what I know in our states, technically not bind it legally. All right, so which means the seller can say, oh, yeah, no, uh, I didn't agree to that or, or or whatever. All right, you guys. But most seller, once they sign the agreement, they really know that that they're buying to sell you the property. Does that make sense? So technically, yes, you don't have to put up the earnest money. There's a deal where I sent it in to my title company, never put the earnest money. And at the time of uh, the date of closing, then the, the earnest money is just going to come in from the buyer. If that makes sense. Um, so let me know if that answers your questions or not. Joe Dirt, what up? Happy Sunday. Just gonna give you guys some shout out here. I don't want to miss anybody. Uh, T. Oh man. Um, T. T. X. A. N. A. <laughs> Happy Sunday from Texas. Nice. James Stanley. Happy. Uh, Sunday, I'm sorry, happy Sunday. What percentage of property that you get under contract are you not able to find buyer for? Just wanting to be realistic. James, I'm going to be realistic with you. Yes, there are deals where we tied up on a contract and the deal does not, um, and the deal doesn't work out. So we have 
to um, go back and either renegotiate with the seller and the seller say no and then we have to cancel uh, we have to cancel the deal uh, man I would say pretty rare because we got a big uh, we got a uh, we got a pretty big buyers list right now so it does happen but it's rare but when I first started um, you where your buyers list is pretty limited then it you know then maybe okay so right now we tie 10 under uh, 10 on a contract maybe one of them uh, maybe one or two of them uh, will not end up closing is that um, is that the answer you're looking for uh, James but when you first started out yes you it's gonna happen more often but over over time once you start building up your buyers list once you start knowing the market and uh, and then you get better and then eventually you type deal and then rarely that um, it doesn't work also too is your skill set when you talk to buy or when you talk to the seller will in you know will be better and eventually you will be able to get the seller to convince the seller somehow to get the deal to make it happen all right let me uh, okay maybe that's better um louis lou louis lou what up happy sunday what up kong this is my first live and just found out about you last week i have been studying you like a book bro <laughs> thanks a lot thanks for the kind word nice welcome to the channel welcome to the family welcome to your whole selling houses journey and um uh thanks for being a part of the family you guys come on 41 people 25 likes there's some wrong there's some wrong Strawberry Kong, I have two deals in Los Angeles, but the only cash buyer who contact me can afford my deals. Can how can a how can a find a legit cash buyer? How can I find a legit buyer who can actually afford to buy million dollar deals? So strawberry, okay, so now here here's what it is. So basically the higher price, right, the less buyer you get. Obviously not a whole lot of people out there that have, you know, millions or multi-million dollar to close on these property. But obviously it's 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 also too, it's if you in an area where properties are like that, which mean there are big players in that area that have that kind of deep pocket. Um, so what I would do if I were you, yes, and there are buyers that will... That would be, and over time, you're going to find out who's the real deal and who's not, right? There's buyers that call me and say, hey, Kong, you know, we're looking to buy, et cetera. You send them deals, and then uh, they're like, oh, yeah, and then they're like, well, I'm trying to get my finances figured out. And they, they haven't even got their money or their finance, their, you know, private or hard money in line yet, and they're all searching for deals. And when you send it to them, um, they're not just ready to pull the trigger, all right, you guys? And over time, you find who's the real um, cash buyer and who are not. And uh, so strawberry, what it is, is that if you did everything you can, try to market, call all the realtors in that local area, put it on bigger pockets, um, go on that house uh, full-time Facebook, market, market, market. And if you can't, then the only thing you can do is, um, you said that, uh, but the only cash buyer who contact me can't afford my deal. Well, so are you saying that because your price to him is too high or her is too high? If, if that's the case, then... And, and if they are serious about buying the deal, then I would say, hey, what can you afford? If that is your only buyer that contact you on this deal, then you ask your buyer back, how, how, what can they afford? So, 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 so I would ask them is what price would make sense for you so that you can make money on this deal? I want to create a win for you, for us, and for the seller. And if I can make it work, I'm more than happy to do it. So, uh, so, so could you share with me where do you need to be in price for this deal to work? And if that's your only buyer, then you ask the question because you want a number from your buyer. Once you got a number from your buyer, which means now you got a buyer that wants to buy this property, you got a seller that wants to sell this property. Now your job is go back and renegotiate with the seller and said, hey, you know what? My partner went through the building or the property, they look at it. And you know, we really want to buy this property, but we want it to make sense. You know, as an investor, we do want, you know, we we, we do want to make a profit when we buy. So this is kind of where we need to be to move forward and to close on this deal. But typically I would ask my buyer what price and how soon they can close because you want to come back to your seller. You want to come back strong, right? You want to come back strong when you negotiate with them or renegotiate. You want to come back strong. <laughs> I'm losing my, you want to come back strong. All right. You want to come back strong because you want to make sure that you can get this deal accepted but, uh, or when you renegotiate. So you want to come back strong. You'd be like, Hey, you know what? Here's where we need to be in price. 
and we can close in 10 days or seven days. So you want to get the buyer to, to say, hey, you know what? I want to come back. I want to renegotiate with the seller. I want to make it work for you, but we want to come back strong. So where, how soon can you close? Where do you need to be in price? And then go back and renegotiate and hopefully you'll be able to make it work. Oh man, that's a lot of talking. Uh, I want to make sure I get all you guys' question answered. This is you guys' day. Peace, happy uh, peace, happy Sunday. Jordan Dunn, happy Sunday. Manfred, happy Friday, happy Sunday. Carlos Mar Martin, happy Sunday. Uh, Marshall, happy Sunday. William, happy Sunday. Seller has a duplex with a commercial land lot. Is there a different process for commercial land? Uh, William, basically, I don't know about, um, I don't know, um, exactly what you mean, but wholesale is wholesale. So as long as the price, um, if you get under, you know, be, so now you got to figure out the whole thing is like, what, what is the value? What is the actual value of the property? How much you can get under a discount and how much a buyer was willing to pay for it. That's all you need to figure out. So if, um, if the property's worth a hundred, whatever it is, it could be land, it could be vacant land, it could be mobile home, it could be a commercial building, whatever it is. And then, um, so this is this is this is the value, all right. This is this is the value, and then you want to get under at a certain discount. I don't know what what buyer would pay for commercial land in in, in your area. Then you got to take you got to minus that discount, minus your fee, and then now go find a buyer that's willing to uh, to pay for it. So basically, you tied up under contract at a discounted price where it makes sense for the investor that would buy something like that in that area. And then, um, and then make sure you're, and then when you send it out to them, so let's just say that, uh, that property that whatever you're talking about, it could be anything, a uh, land or whatever it is uh, worth a hundred. And most buyer would say, Hey, most buyer in that area would pay 50 for it, right? 50 for it. And if you got under contract for less than 50, anything less than 50, then you can tie it up on contract and assign it over to whatever buyer, for fifty thousand and whatever your your profit can be, it could be a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, fifty thousand. Oh man, okay. Come on, you guys, smash those thumbs up. If I add any value to you, smash those thumbs. Um, Patriot twenty eight, smash those likes. That's right, Gina Diamond. I like your last name. <laughs> yes, I'm in the states of overwhelmness. Um, Gina, I, I completely understand. And the thing is, Gina, here's what it is. Stop, stop studying. All right. Stop studying because the more information you put in, the more you're going to be overwhelmed. So to me, one step at a time. So, um, go network, you know, go network, go talk to people. Now, remember too, Gina, is that I always say have an open mind, right? Have an open mind, but, but don't be connected to anything. Have an open mind, but don't connect to anything. Um, so basically what it is, is a lot of time people will give you false information. You got to confirm and make sure with them. Um, but don't, don't put more information in. Otherwise you're going to, you're going to be, uh, you will, you'll be overwhelmed. You'll be paralyzed, which means you, 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 it's too much where you like, don't even know what to do. So I would stop, right? I would stop. I would stop and then just focus on the key thing is that um, um, go networking, talking to people and start to start putting your name out there and then talking to seller and put a deal on the contract. All right. Just so I always say have a purchase and sell contract ready, have an assignment contract ready. The assignment is it's, it's between you and the end buyer. Have a purchase and sell ready, have an assignment contract ready, find the title company or an attorney that's that that know how to do these kind of deal. And then what you want to do is start networking, market, put up banner sign, whatever it is, and then start. Um, and then to me, it's like from that on, all you need to do is just practice, practice, role play, how to talk to seller. Um, you know, tr uh, try to role play. If you have a script, start practicing your script. Because once that phone call comes in, your thing is to master to get them on the phone and to be able to answer all the questions. And then, um, you know, and, 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 and so, so, so to me, it's like market. And then just work on practicing the script. If you have a script, role play with your friends, your family, etc., whatever it is, and then just get good at, 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 at talking to seller. And then you just wait for the phone to ring. And then uh, you just dominate. You want to take control of the phone call with the seller. Um, so, man, I don't even know where I'm at. Sorry, you guys. If I miss, um, if I miss you guys, give me a shout out. I'm, I'm completely sorry. There's just too much here. Um... 
Uh, Matt MC Kong, if God wills, I think I'm going to be putting together a package deal on the contract, two duplex, one house. Should I put it it all on Craigslist? Um, MC, I mean, there's a lot of places to put it on there. Yes, put it on Craigslist, uh, Bigger Pockets, all the other one. Call all the. Um, oh shoot, it's not working. Hold on a second, you guys. It's the battery. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I just want to make sure that. Um, here come human. What's the best list that you have set success with, and what? Where do you get the list from? List source. Yes. Can you check with your wife? The marketing, <laughs> the marketing genius. Yes. List source is where we get them. Wife does all of the marketing. Um, uh, wife does all of the marketing. I know she targets out of states in the states. You know, um, uh, so basically what it is is we target high equity. I think uh, forty. You know, they gotta have at least forty percent or more equity in the house. Um, uh, you know, obviously taxi taxi delinquents, probates. Um. Um, uh, uh, you know, like a out state owner, even in state's owner, um, anything that's non owned occupy. And, uh, um, the, let, let me see here. I forgot, I forgot your name, but the, but the key thing is the list. It's all about consistency. All right. Just don't, just don't worry so much about as long as they have equity and then you just consistent market to that property. Just be consistent with your marketing. Like, um, it's because a lot of times, it's because it's a lot of times too, if you are consistent enough, sometimes that sellers, it's not ready now, but uh, you know, it's, it's like, it's like whenever they're ready, all of a sudden they got one of a letter or one of your postcard. Um, I hope that answered your questions. Uh, how long did it take you to get your first, v how long did it take for you to get your first VA? DJ, DJ, I think that's what you want me to call you. DJ, how long it took, um, took me to my first, uh, man, uh, I think we got our first VA was about, uh, I think two years ago, um, two years ago, how long? Um, I think it was to the point where, to the point where I knew that, um, I just couldn't handle all the incoming call anymore. And for me to grow, I must get somebody on. And the first person that you're going to hire is the one that's going to filter all the call for you. All right. And you got to train them up. You got to, you know, you got to train them up. You got to make sure that they can say what they can ask all the questions and know how to talk to the seller, et cetera. All right. And, and that's also when we decided to, you know, I, I got to sit down, I got to put, I got to put everything that I asked the seller, um, you know, from, from hearing with this people from overtime, talking to the seller, I put everything into that script and I said, you, well, you know what? So that's pretty much kind of your blueprint, right? You can take this little thing, you can take it here and you can hand it to anybody. You can hand it to anyone and they just need to, they just need to study it. And, and it'll be like you, it'll be like you taking you. Right. So, um, I, I hope that makes sense. But it's what, what, so I don't know the exact time. I just know that, but it was probably about two years ago. And I just know that I just couldn't handle all the incoming call anymore. And also too, is I want to scale up and also too, is I don't want to work, you know, 14 to 15 hours a day because the, the time, the, the, the thing that takes the most is when, uh, the time that the, the, the thing that takes the most time is filter the call when all the incoming calls come in, because you know, you know that. 90% of the people that calls in are not they are not motivated seller are not looking for your kind of service I, I tried Pat life um, I tried to Pat life and I tried other company that I can outsource all the call to uh, but instead we went to the route where we hire our own VA because we felt like we can control uh, basically we want to be in control all right um, Okay, uh, MC, should I put the all homes together to duplex, one duplex bundle deal? Um, you know, MC, I would actually tie, so let's just say if the seller has three pieces of property, you want to tie each property under contract uh, under um, a different contract. That that way, instead of, you know, one person comes in, they'll be like, well, you know, I don't want to buy all three. Maybe I'll just buy one. Then you'll be able to sell them separately. If that makes um, if that makes sense, so I wouldn't put them all together. Uh, I actually had that happen before, and I actually um, uh, the seller has two different property, but I didn't put it in one uh, uh, one contract. I put it in two separate contract. That way, um, that way, uh, that way, I, I can sell them separately, and that's exactly what I end up doing. Um, you guys. And, and and be honest with me when I answer your question. If it does not make sense, I'm I'm not gonna be offended. 
I'm not going to be offended at all. If it does not make sense, drop a comment. Let me know. It does not make sense. Kong, you, you make no sense. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. You're speaking Chinese. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Oh, man. Gina, uh, okay. Page 28. How to get the value of a piece of land. Also, will you start Facebook group, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... I will try to start the Facebook group. Um, uh, I, I will. Um, DJ, do you have an office staff or do you work from home? DJ, okay, here it goes. I actually, so to me, you know, seeing people having office, office space, seeing people having um, a large company and they go in and there's tons of employees, it just makes you feel, it just makes you feel like a boss, right? It just, to me, it just makes me feel like, wow, right? But um, but the more I'm in this, I just want to I just want it to be simple. So basically, here's what it is. I even hire an office space where it cost me about um, you know I think almost 400 bucks a month. But it, it it it's not about the rent. But I I hire an office uh, an office space and I have to go there kind of every day. Um, you know I, I go in. I thought. So at first I thought that's what I like, right? I thought that's what I like. I thought, you know, it's nice to go to an office space. It's nice to go somewhere and go in there and you can see your employee work, etc. But uh, you know what? It's better to be free. Right now I can go and work at Starbucks. I can go and all, and all the VA work from uh, from their home. We, we, you know, I can be in Vietnam. I can be in China. I can be in... Um, Mexico, I can be in Australia, I can be in anywhere, and all I need is a Wi-Fi, and we can get on there, and we can have a meeting on Skype, and that's exactly what we do, my wife does it every single Monday, she goes on there, and then um, uh, she Skype with all the VA, check on them, ask how, you know, you pretty much that's how we bond uh, with our uh, VAs, right, and um, you know, and now I can work at Starbucks, I can go anywhere that is Wi-Fi, and I'll be able to go there, kick it, um, and kind of do my thing and I found out that that's ex that's exactly what I like more is it's not to be tied down in a box but just but just to be free all right just to be free and be able to do um, this business wherever I want and uh, yeah so now I um, so I work from home sometime I go to Starbucks sometime I will go um, you know I, I you know I, I sometimes um, you know so whenever I go anywhere all I need is my little backpack and then all I need is my backpack with my um, uh, uh, with my laptop, and I'm good to go. And uh, I and I like it a lot. <clears throat> oh man, okay, here goes. Uh, okay, I'm sorry if I I'm sorry if I missed any of your answers questions. There's just a lot. <sighs> Johnson can't wait to see package B. Be released. I have faith in the system. Thanks again for everything you do. Look forward to being on your channel once I close a deal. By the way, say hi to. By the way, try say Nigel. Nigel? <laughs> Nigel. Nigel. And maybe that's it. Nigel. Yeah, man. I can't wait. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to share with you guys either. Kong, if God will, I'm going to put together, okay? I already answered that. Any other questions, you guys, pop it in the comment. I'm going to do my best here to answer any questions. If I missed you guys, I'm totally sorry. How do I find cash cash money investor slash buyer? Gina, you got to post. Okay, now you got to start um, networking. Go to the local RIA meetup group. So start putting your name out there um, into your community. Um, there's always a meetup. Some you know, in whatever you are you are in, there should be a meetup or RIA, a local RIA that you can go attend. Um, you know, go on that house full time uh, uh, Facebook group, the bigger pockets. There's like so many uh, places that you can find buyers. But like I said, over time you gotta know who's the real buyers and who's not. Um, and then you uh, put some ghost ad on Craigslist. What's uh, what a ghost ad is? It's just say hey, um, just. Just put some random, not a property address, but whatever, wherever that you're looking um, to target. Just say, hey, we have a um, we have a wholesale deal available in this area. You know, twenty cents on a dollar, seventy cents on a dollar, fifty cents on a dollar, whatever discount on is hot deal, fixer upper needed, cash buyer needed, and then I promise you, you're gonna get a lot of emails. 
Um, but like I said, Craigslist is, is a place where you're going to start talking to, you know, you, eventually you know who's the real and who's not. Um, DJ, how, okay, how do we get the package? Uh, DJ, how do you get the package? Um, uh, man, okay, so DJ, what it is, is you go to, let me see if I have my phone here. Um, Jin, I'm, I'm surprised, Jin, Jin is not on this live. Where are you at, man? Um, DJ, go to, here, let me see if I can go onto my phone and I type it in. If somebody, hold on a second here. Mr. Hall, happy Sunday. Hey Kong, I got a cash buyer and got him under contract for 25,000 and I have contract with seller for 20. Congrats. This is my first deal and I forgot to tell cash buyer about closing costs. Is this bad? Uh, Mr. Hall, no, it, no it's not bad. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm going to try to put it in the comment right now. So go to the sites here. And I want you guys to know that, you know, there's no, no refund, no exchange. And the only refund or exchange you're going to get is from yourself when you do that first deal. But man, I promise you. Um, you know, it, it took me so long to get uh, things under contract for that one reason. I didn't know how to talk to seller. Um, 25, okay, so 5,000. And closing costs on a 20,000, uh, Mr. Hall, I'm going to tell you right now, a closing cost on 20,000 is, so typically it's about 3%. So 20,000 plus 3%. So it's like less than a thousand bucks. All right. So Mr. Hall is less than a thousand bucks. So what you can do is since you already told, since you haven't told your, now it's up to you, but if, if it's me, this is what I do. Since I didn't tell my buyer, because obviously we're in this business to create relationship. We don't want this to be a one-time deal, you know, and, um, and, and if you are making good money, um, you know, then I, I would just eat it, right? Because you didn't tell your cash buyer up front that this, that they have to pay for all the closing costs, right? So Mr. Hall, I guess what it is, is you are agreed to the seller that we, as a buyer, we're going to pay for all the closing costs, correct? If you're, if, if that's what you agree to the seller and you forgot to tell your buyer, then you just make sure that you tell your title company, you tell your title company or you tell the attorney, hey, um, I'm as the assigner is going to pay for the seller closing costs. And it's less than a thousand bucks. Okay. So, so, so you can tell them, Hey, uh, could you tell me what's the closing cost is? And it's less than a thousand bucks. It keeps the buyer happy. And when you tell your buyer that they're going to trust you even more, they're going to say like, dang. So, um, you know, so they're going to trust you more cause, cause, cause you can tell them that, Hey, you know, I forgot to tell you that a buyer pay for all the closing costs, but since I didn't, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to take it. All right. And uh, you guys, relationship is huge because obviously we wanted them to come back for more deals uh, to buy from us. I mean, so uh, we just closed on a deal about two or three weeks ago, right? And uh, I could come back and renegotiate with the seller and actually made more on it because the seller just really, really want to sell. They have a renter in there that are just destroying the property and, and the buyer has to evict the renter. But since the seller thought that the renter was moving out, the, 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 the seller didn't tell us that we, whoever's going to buy, will have to evict the renter. So when, uh, when the, when the buyer asked, Hey Kong, um, it seems like, you know, because they went there, they talked to the renter, the renter's like, Hey, he's not going to move out. Um, uh, and, uh, whoever it is, he said that you, you guys would have to evict me. So the buyer come back and the buyer say, well, Kong, you know, now it's going to cost us money, going to cost us five to 6,000 to evict this renter. So, you know, so we didn't know that. And, uh, well, you guys got to do something with the price. So instead of going back and renegotiating with the seller, because, you know, because I talked to the seller and the seller, this is kind of their, like their last investment, right? And we're already making money on it already. So, you know, we are making money on it already. I said, you know what? Not a big deal. Uh, and I, I told the buyer that we'll take care of it. And, uh, and I said, we will take care of it. And I just wrote him a check. You could do it. 
in escrow, which means you have to send an addendum over or you can do it outside of escrow. So I asked my buyer which way you want to do it. He said, Kong, uh, we trust you not an issue. You can just write us a check outside of escrow. So outside of escrow, I just wrote uh, the buyer a $5,000 check and sent it to them so they can take care of the evictions, right? And that is the whole, you know, that's the thing is just, just keeping a relationship. And you guys got to understand, you know, it's like when, once you understand and know how to do this business, you know that you can duplicate and create this business and, 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 and just making money over and over again. So why would you, so, 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 so when I think like that, I, you know, this is kind of like their seller. This is kind of like their, kind of like their last money, right? So I say, well, if I can do this over and over again, then why would I worry about the $5,000 and I just want to make the seller happy and they give us a good testimonial and we just move on. And the buyer's happy because the buyers uh, understand now that, uh, you know, that they're working with someone that, 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 that that's going to make sure that everything is done properly. Um, so far you answer you, so far you have answered two of my questions. I'm going for a record. <laughs> Um, David, what would you say to a seller if they asked if you were a local company, but you're out of states? Um, you just tell them, you just tell them that your, your, your out of states are a company is based here, but we do deals, you know, we buy properties all over, you know, you can say uh, we buy properties all over the states. We have partners in that states uh, and, uh, that we're buying in. So that's what you tell them. It, it, it shouldn't be a problem. What would you uh, take you take your time, Kong? No rush. Jay William, happy Sunday. Billy, happy Sunday. Do you do your direct mail for six months? Yes. So our mailing came out. Our mailing goes out every six months, and it it hits these homeowner every single week. So basically, what it is, my wife she pulls up a list for six months, and then after six months, she pulls a new list. Okay, and she pulls a new list. And let me tell you guys one more thing, all right? Let me tell you guys one more thing about investing in yourself. And I'm not trying to tell you guys to buy the deal package or anything, but let me tell you guys how important it is. And also too, you guys, surround yourself, try to surround yourself with like-minded. People that pushes you to keep on going, telling you, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Just pushes you and not those negative people that's going to hold you back, okay? Very, very important too is surround yourself with, with positive, good people, all right? Because this journey is going to be tough and, and, and you're going to be challenged mentally, all right? And we all know it's 80% mental and it's 20% of what you do. So anyways, my mentor joined this masterminding group, right? My mentor joined this masterminding group and because of how much we're marketing right now, so basically in that in that group there, um, basically you, you have to be part of the group and they have this special link for it and it saves us $9,000 a month over $100,000 a year on our marketing and it costs about twenty to 25000 to join that group. All right, you guys. And the thing is, most a lot of mo a lot of time people said when they read a book or when they listen to it uh, or when they watch a video, they want to learn a lot from it. You don't need it. You just need to pick one nugget, just like Ty Lopez says. Whatever from a book or from a video, you just want to put what you one one piece of nuggets, one piece of information you get from it. Man, it could escalate you. Let me tell you. Let let me tell you a story. So this was like, this was like three or four years ago, and I was just stressing out, right? I was just stressing out because my deal wasn't consistent. It was like up, we'll get some deals coming in, and then the next month I got no call, no deal. It goes up, it goes down, and I say, I said, man, you know, like you want a business, right? You want it to be more predictable. You want it to be consistent, right? And you want it to go like this. You don't want it to go like this and then down, and or you don't want to have month like this. So I was stressing out. I was like, you know, what am I not doing right? You know, I'm calling all the realtor, you know, I'm put, I'm, I'm, I'm networking. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? And all of a sudden I watch this guy, this, this guy video and his name is Sean Terry. I watch this video and this is what he said. It might be common. It might be common sense, but because you're so overwhelmed, you just don't recognize. Right. And also too, it's a lot of times where um, or, or a lot of times you just you just forget and then when you listen to something it reminds you and the puzzle just click and this is what he said he said the um, he said the size of your business is going to depend on the amount of marketing and I say duh so he said if you want to be so you want to have that consistent income and you want to grow your business then you must increase your marketing 
and and, and you guys, it, to me, it, it's like, a, and then all of a sudden a light bulb just went off and I went back to, and I, and I went back with my wife and I said, I said, Lon, we got to work on our marketing. We got to increase. And, and then um, at that time, then we start the plan where she start now working on our marketing, et cetera. And then we just increase our marketing. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that's it. A lot of times, you know, and the whole video, that's, ex that's the only thing I got out of that video. I mean, everything else he said, it's, it's, it's amazing. And you, the, the, the guy's amazing, right? Everything he said is amazing, but I got one, that one nuggets that it just, boom, exploded. And then we just came back, work on our marketing, and I just don't beat my, because I was beating myself up badly. I was beating myself up so bad because, you know, because I was, like, I, I, I was beating myself up and, and putting myself down, and, and I just don't know what I was doing wrong. And, uh, and anyways, yeah. So, but just that one puzzle, it, it, that, that was my, like my missing link, my missing puzzle. So you got to figure out what is your missing puzzle and then, um, and then search for it. But um, at first, when you start it, not everything is going to make sense. Not everything is going to fall into place. But it's about oh, doing it over time. And the more you do it, then just start coming. People, the right people starting to come. And uh, you come across somebody that says something or all of a sudden you saw something. It, it, it's really weird. But it's going to be over time that, that all the puzzle will come to you, all right? So you're not going to be able to solve any problem up at first. But over time, um, things will start to come, all right? You will start to attract the people, uh, whatever that you need, the people, uh, the products, the system, uh, whatever it is. But it will fall into place to take you to where you need it to be, all right? Or to where you want it to be. But your dreams, right, your dreams, whatever you want to accomplish must be so, so strong that that's all you think about, right? That, 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 that's all you think about. And, and the more energy, the more energy you put into that dreams, it will attract everything that you needed. I promise. It's weird. It's really weird. I, I mean, I can tell you guys so, so many stories where things just happen, um, where things just happen so randomly for us. Like I'm telling you guys, you know, there's nothing special about me and my wife. There's really nothing special about us. But it's just that we want what when we decided we want something, we put our energy, our focus, we think about it. Uh, you know, we think about it. We try to find ways how we and then, you know, and, and we go through the same thing you're going through where we stress out. We don't know if we're on the right path or not. But we're like, we know this is what we want to do. And we just keep on going. And then all of a sudden things just pop up, pop up, pop up. And then the puzzle just click, 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 click. And eventually, by the time you know it, you're there. All right. But at first, but at first, like I said, it's 80 percent mindset. And I can't remember who wrote, who wrote the quote, but you got to You know, you got to take the first step, even if you don't see it. You know, um, it's like take I can't remember who did take the first steps, um, take the first step into the staircase or whatever, even if you don't see it. And that's faith is. Faith is believing in something you cannot see. If you can see it, then it's already a reality, right? So your faith is believing in something you cannot see. So, so, so you gotta keep your faith and believe really strong that this, that, 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 that you can do it. And things are gonna happen for you, not against you. When we when we lost our business in the mall, it was it was so crucial, so crushing. My wife, I cried, but because of that, we discovered real estate. If it if it didn't happen. We wouldn't be in a better business than had a little kiosk in the mall. So you guys, you go, you must, you must, must, must believe that everything happens, happens for you, not against you. It happens to get you to where you need it to be. But you, so you must, and it's hard. Trust me, it's hard. It's hard when you, it's hard when you're in the situation, but uh, it's hard when you're in the situation, but you must always look at the positive side because when you look at the positive side, it gets you up and it, it'll push you forward. If you look at the negative, then obviously it brings you down and you're going to quit. Oh, man. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to. It's your guys' day, man. I don't know. I, I just went off. Um, big, 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 uh, big ballots. I don't know. Happy Sunday. Do you know who Larry? No, I don't. I can't even say his last name. Uh, production. Happy Sunday. Um, Joklin, jo Joklin. Happy Sunday. Um, seven, two, nine, dude, that's on a Saturday, bro. It's yesterday. Uh, deal or no deal Saturday, you guys. That's when I take your guys' deal. I analyze it live. And I'm going to share with you guys kind of what I think the ARV is. 
um, and how much I would tie the deal, deal on the contract for, etc. So I'll take your guys' deal, analyze it live every single Saturday, um, and I do my best 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. So if you have any deals that you're working on or you're looking to uh, put a, an offer into the seller, but if you don't know, um, I'll do it live with you. All right? Um, Aki, happy Sunday, bro. I hope you're doing well. Uh, page 28, what is the process of closing a probate deal? Is there a same process of other deal? Um, yes, pro. So here, so Patriot, here's the thing. When you got a, when you, when you know it's a deal tied up on a contract, send it to your attorney or your title company, whatever else they need from you, that's whatever else they need from you, then they're going to ask you. And then you just going to start getting information from the seller. Uh, and, and things like that and they will contact the seller your title company your attorney will let you know that hey you know what uh, we can't close this deal uh, within 30 days or 60 days because of this we got to solve this problem etc tie the deal and then um, and then your title company or your attorney will figure out uh, the next step for you all right so don't worry about oh yeah you know this and that. just don't worry about it tie it up I have tied deal up where they said well, you know what, Kong? Uh, we need we need another signature. This is not going to work. So we send we send the uh, we go ahead and we send the contract out to grab that signature. And um, yeah, so so don't worry about it. Uh, Mark White, happy Sunday. Kong answer dog dog. Kong answer dog. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Oscar, happy Sunday. Anyone in California trying to JV? Mark White. That's why I'm here, Kong. Uh, uh, you, you turn seven. You turn seven. I can't get into the first step if I don't know where to get where I can get the contract. You turn seven. So um, if you want to get the contract, go ahead and put your questions onto the house. Um, it's called wholesaling houses full time. They have like almost 60, over 60,000 members on there all across the states. And I'm sure someone will be able to um, share the contract with you. And possibly you might find one that's in your local market. Everything happens for a reason. Yes, I, tr I, I do believe that. Sean, Sean Johnson, happy Sunday. Can you produce your own direct mail? Uh, that, I don't have an answer to that. I don't know. But um, can you produce your own direct mail? Well, I guess you can go on here and handwrite your letter. Yes, <laughs> I, I think that's what you're saying. But if you want to send out, you know, 7,000, 10,000 of mail uh, a week, that, that that might be a lot of work, bro. Um, who, who? <laughs> Some of you guys' name is crack me up, man. Who, who? What up? Happy Sunday. What's more effective, cold calling, absentee, or direct mailing? I know both work. But is there one that produced more deals? Nope. You do them both. So we have our VA cold call and I, I sent out direct mail. So for me right now, it's just, it's all about, so for me, it's like, you know, I just want to shoot out because we have the funds to do it. So I just shoot out a lot of, a lot of mails and I just wait for my, and, and, and I just wait for the phone to ring. And for me, it's all about numbers. You know, if we send out a lot and we get in, in, enough incoming calls. Uh, then we should be able to tie deal up on the contract if if you're able to talk uh, to uh, the seller right. Uh, um, Antonio Ron, Ron duh, just first name Antonio. Happy Sunday! It's okay, man. You made it. Happy Sunday, Chrissy. Happy Sunday. Uh, can you evaluate my seller scripts to see if it's Good, Billy. Um, I I don't know if I um, I don't know if I can do that. Um, but you know what? If you talk to seller and if you can tie it out of my contract, it probably means it's good. And if you talk to seller, let's say if you talk to fifty or or hundred seller already, and you can't even tie one on the contract, it means you need to work on the script, bro. So if you can tell, if you can talk to the seller, and if you can tie a deal up on contract, then you're fine. If, if that makes sense. But if you talk like like when I first started, man, I don't know how many seller I talked to. I talked to so, so many seller and was not able to get any of them under contract because what it is, is just like Uncle G, you got it. You got to be able to know how to close the deal, right? You got to know how to pitch it and then close the deal. 
And that was my weakest thing is I didn't know how to close it. You got to be able to close it, all right? But not just closing it, but you got to be able to get their commitment to say that they are ready to close it, all right? And that's, that's I didn't know how to do that. Um, can I get wholesale deal out of my state without me being there? Dude, Oscar, absolutely, man. That's what we're doing virtually. Virtual wholesaling, that's all I do. I don't go out, I don't meet seller. I don't see my buyers. Um, I don't see the property. If you guys see that the way that I do my deals now, some of my deals, you guys wouldn't believe it. I all through text message. I got on a contract through text. I sell the deal to the uh, through text. And um, I have a I have a subscriber ask me, so Kong, doesn't your doesn't your title company mail the checks? Yes, they do. But my wife and I just you know I, that's that's like I'm, I'm very happy. My wife and I really enjoy just going to pick up the checks. When we go do it, we pick, you know, we eat a big meal, we whatever we like, and then we go get massages, etc. So I, I, I enjoy picking up the checks. I can get it wired to me, I guess, but no, I, I just really enjoy picking up the checks. Uh, David is the seller, is ready to sell. How many times on average do you have to go back and forth on price before they will accept your low offer? Um, David, it's really depend. Most of the time I will be able to tie a deal up on a contract. Once the girl, once my, once the VA have set an appointment for me, for me, and if the deal, if the number seems to make sense, and if we are, I have gotten seller from 120,000 off. All right. From $120,000 off. So, uh, typically if the seller is motivated to sell, if there's a reason why they're looking to sell, then I should be able to tie the contract up on the second phone call, which means the first phone call is they called in to gather the information and then they'll send it to me for the um, offer appointment. That's when I call back and that's my two part seller script. The one is get uh, the one is for, you know, when you first talk to the seller, gather information and then the initial call back to make the offer. And then that's typically um, eight out of 10 time I can tie it up them on the contract on the second call. But there are seller. Yes, I would have to follow up with them, um, et cetera. And follow up is also follow up is very, very important. Oh, man. Um, um, e building production. Happy Sunday at Kong. Does your title company have to be in the same states? Yes, I think so. Uh Omar, bro, any advice to someone coming out of college? Dude, um, well, I'm a high school dropout. I never go to, um, obviously never had, um, never go to college. Um, any advice coming out from college, dude? To me, man, like, to me for people, you know, when my mom, when my mom, when, when I drop out of high school and my mom said, Kong, you are going to be, you are probably going to clean toilet or you're going to work for, um, as a labor worker for the rest of your life. You know, you need to get back into her, et cetera. And uh, I, I, you know, I told my mom that because, and also too, you got to know, you, you got to, it's self-awareness. You got to know yourself. I told my mom that I'm, a, you know, I'm willing to work hard from the bottom. I'm willing to work hard to get to where I, I want it to be. And, and you guys, I'm a guy, I never had big dreams. I never had big goals. Until I met my wife, she's the one that had big goal, big goals and big dreams. I'm a guy that's just very simple. I didn't have big goals or big dreams, right? Um, so when I met my wife, she's the one, and then she's the one that pushed me, got me out of my little box. I was a shy, super insecure guy, uh, pushes me out of my box. But to me, if you want to make money, if you want to make money, you don't need to go to college. You don't even need to graduate from high school. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not. And so basically you don't have to be smart or intelligent. But to me, street smart is better than book smart. But if you have both, then obviously that's that's even better. But to me, I believe street smart is better than book smart. All right? Because you guys, man, life, when, when you put out, when you are in the real test of life, man, you will know street smart is better than book smart. But if you have both, that's even better. All right. I, I, I suck at, at, at school. Um, I don't read books, but I listen to audios and I watch all, and I watch video. I'm a visual, a visual learner. And so so to me, if you want to make money, find a business or a career that you want to go down, that you want to dedicate and willing to put in the time and the hard work to make it happen. So don't jump. Um, you know, don't jump businesses. Don't hear somebody say this and you'll be like, oh, yeah, that sounds really good. I'm going to test it out. No. Take a business and you feel like, yeah, you know what? That business, if I can, if I can, if I can, if I can master it, it will get me to the lifestyle I want. 
then you're going to make a decision, make a decision. Success is like a, a marriage. You got to make a decision and the commitment that you are willing to do whatever it takes and whatever is necessary to make it happen. To me, if you want to make money, if you want to make money and live the lifestyle and be free and, um, you know, and be financially free, you don't have to go to college. Um, you know, you don't have to go to college. You don't have to go to college. You can go out there, pick a business, and then start learning it and, and, and learning it. Find a mentor. Find a mentor. Find somebody that are living the li that are living the life or making the kind of income that you want and then ask them to be your mentor and then just follow their footstep. Whatever they tell you to do, just do it. And then the things, because because you got to think about it. If 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 whoever it is, if they if they tell you to do what they're doing, there's no way you get. So basically, if you want, you know, you can't get a, a different result. If I tell you, you know, do this, 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 and and that's exactly what you do, then you you will get the same result. So to me, college is not necessary. Um, yeah. Um, but you know, but if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, something that needs that, that need that certificate, yes, you got to go to school, you got to go to college because you got to get that certificate because to you, nothing is more important than being a doctor or being a lawyer or being whatever it is, an engineer, whatever it is, right? There's nothing more important than that, right? You don't care about the money. You don't care. You just, you, you really, really like it. Now that's different, right? That's different to me. If that's what you, you are, then yes, you got to go do whatever need you need to get that certificate. But if you just want to make money and, and make it in life and um, yeah, then you don't need it. Um, that should be a very short answer. I don't know why I just rambling on. I'm sorry, you guys, if I rambling on. Um, okay, man, come on, you guys, smash those thumbs, um, let me see here, whoever else, uh, I answered that already, um, Kong, you need help, where the hell is Jin, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Jin is, man, he usually, he usually on all of my lives, I don't know where he's at, I, uh, Matto, Matto, uh, okay, V I V I R G I L L O. I can't pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Hi, Kong. After watching your video, I have two under contract. Now, I appreciate the virtual men mentorship. Are you serious? <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, when you close on it, please drop me a comment. I really want to get you onto the show. You guys, those of you that recently closed your first wholesale deal, drop me a comment. I would love to get you guys onto the show to share your stories, your personal stories, how you got into the business, and also do your first wholesale deal. And the reason you guys is to motivate and inspire those that haven't done to go get it done and to know that anyone can do this, all right? But that's awesome. Are you serious? I can't believe it. <laughs> I, I just can't. Um, Mark White. Uh, man, Kevin, happy Sunday. Hey, Kong, there's a house up the street from me and a sign on the door with a number on the door with the number on the door saying not for investor or flipper. Should I leave the property alone? The owner die. No, you should not leave the property alone. You should. If there's a phone number, you should call them. Uh, I mean, OK, first, Kevin, so you got to understand this. You never got the deal, all right? You never got the deal anyway. So even if you call, the answer's already no, right? So if, if, if you call and the answer's no, then you you at, at the beginning, it's already a no. So who care, but I would call them. Um, Christy, okay. Mr. Hudson, Hudson. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, not Mr. I'm sorry, M, M Hudson. Uh, what is included in the program? Ha M Hudson, what's included in the program? Oh man, I need to explain it again. Um, the purchase sale contract between you and the seller, the double closing contract between you and the end buyer uh, to protect you if you were wanting to do a double closing so the end buyer doesn't know how much you make. Um, the assignment agreement between you and the end buyer, um, the addendum, um, you know, the addendum that's included in there. So let's just say if you're in the middle of the contract with the seller or with the end buyer and you guys need to make changes to whether the price or the date, you can send them this addendum over. They need to sign, initial it, and then get it back to you. Um, the two live call with the seller that I got the seller from, 
wanting to wanting 250 down to 187 all by yourself just by asking the right questions all right and the other one is I able to tie the deal up virtually never seen the seller the buyer or the property I just feel like I'm repeating myself and I, I'm able to tie the deal up when I'm competing with three or, or four other investor uh, some of them have already gone out met, met with the seller um, and seen the property but the seller said he felt uncomfortable or he doesn't feel, he felt uncomfortable with that investor so he end up uh, didn't didn't sign all right and that's the and that's the crucial and he had another appointment to meet with, up with another investor and I was able to get his commitment to lock the deal up under contract just by over the phone got the contract signed the next day so to an investor that was going to go out and look at that property and made 35k <laughs> and um, I also included the ARV calculator and a rehab cloud calculator where you just need a um, an estimate of what the rehab cost would be from contractor uh, per square foot. You punch it in, it spits a number out, out for you, and it's just an estimation, all right? It's not an exact number. It's just an es estimate, and so is the ARV, and it's a no refund, no exchange, $4.95. Um, so if you guys want to go buy it, um, you can. But don't waste the money if you are not committed and are not ready, all right? If you're not committed, then don't waste the money. But I promise you, once you master, once you know how to, 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 to oh my gosh, once, once you know how, getting deals under contract would be a lot more easier, I, pr I, I, I promise. Let's get a discount for the launch of the package deal, please. <laughs> William, William Hackins. So I promise, you know, I pr man. Um, I've already got so many people on that I'm gonna spend 30 minutes with them. Oh man! And this is when it when this is like two days ago on a Friday. That's when I was actually talking about the deal. Oh man! I don't know if I want to do this. Um, man, but you guys have been so great to me. Okay, William. Any of you guys want to go and purchase it? I'm still going to be able to do it to you guys because right now what it is is you would have to prepay for it. And you would have to prepay for it. But anyone that's going to prepay for it now, since you invest in me, I'm willing to give it back to you guys. Which means I'll spend 30 minutes with you on the phone to role play with you. And I'm going to, sh oh man, I'm going to tell, okay, I'm going to role play with you. What it is, is you guys be prepared. For those of you who purchase my, pro who purchase the product, be prepared. I'm going to get on the phone with you. I'm going to start, I'm going to be the seller. I'm going to let you I'm gonna start asking you the questions, and then I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna let you tell me, you right? So I'm gonna let you go ahead and, and say whatever you need to say, your script or whatever it is. And I'm gonna come back, and I want you guys to be completely honest with me. And then we'll switch role. You be the seller, I'll be the buyer, and I will tell you, and I will, and you're gonna see the difference between how powerful the script is. All right, you guys. So and and the thing is, you guys and. I didn't, you know, when I first started, I didn't know all of this. Trust me, I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know all this. It was just over time, I gathered a little bit of information here from this people. This sounds good. This sounds good. I test it out. I talked to the seller. Yes, it sounds good to them. And, and, and then I just put everything together. And now, now, that is exactly how I talked to the seller. So I decided, you know what, I put it all in there uh, for you guys. Uh, but don't buy it unless you are committed and ready. Don't waste your money. But I promise you, man, once you get it, let's just say even if you build a team, you take that script, you hand it to your VA, or you decide to hire Pat Live, you say, hey, here's the script, study it, and that's how I want you guys to talk. Um, you can do that too, because once you have the blueprint, you can give it to anybody you want. <laughs> um, oh, man, okay. Uh, oh gosh, okay, I'm, I'm down. You guys, if I missed your question, I, I completely apologize, because there's just... There's just too much. Maggie, happy Sunday, Kong. Are the script that you are selling any different from the one that you have used in your previous video? Mickey, let me tell let me share this with you. And um I haven't I haven't um so let me share this with you. Most teach most teacher that teach you stuff, they will never completely you know, obviously, you put information out, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm going to be real. When you put honest, when you put information out there, you can't completely put everything you got out there. You got to hold something back. <laughs> so, make it, Maggie, now, hey, I'm not trying to sell. Uh, please, I'm not trying to sell to you, Maggie. I'm going to make, I'm going to let you make the judgment whether you want to buy it or not. 
But um, but I promise you, maybe the 30 minute with us, between you and, and me, maybe that 30 minutes will be a missing link to your puzzle. Um, but I'm telling you, like, um, um, the, the, the phone call that I uh, recorded be, before with the seller, I don't ask all the questions that's needed. There are some questions that's in there um that um that that i add in but i'm but i'm gonna leave that to you and maggie it's a no refund no exchange so if you if you are not you know if, if you don't want to spend that money to do it because you felt like you got the information then don't then then, then just don't spend it uh manfred hey kong how would you advertise a boarded up oh man how long are we going at this oh my god Oh, uh, man, I want to make sure I get some of you guys' question answer here. Hey, Kong, how would you advertise a boarded up house to cash buyer without being able to provide a walkthrough of the property? Well, Manfred, what you do is you just take the property, you send it out, tell the buyer, do the drive-by, it's boarded up, so I suppose it's vacant. Go ahead and let them say, hey, here's the property, go check it out. And if you're interested, um, then if you're interested in moving forward, if you can't do a, if you can't do, if you cannot do a walkthrough or inspection um, on the property, I'm sure some of these cash buyer they're gonna find their way in, because <laughs> I have done it myself when I was, I have done it myself where an agent told me, hey Kong, we got a deal here, and uh, but I don't have a lockbox, whatever, it's all boarded up. Um, I'll find my way in. <laughs> Robert Wilson, gotta catch the replay. I'm full daddy dirty right now, <laughs> duty right now. <laughs> awesome man. Thanks a lot for uh, thanks a lot for Robert. Thanks a lot for taking time to watch, even if you're daddy time, man. Appreciate it. Um, Sean Johns, who's Roger? I don't know who's Roger is. Darren, what was the Facebook group again? Yes, wholesaling house full time. <clears throat> Hopefully, Jin is finally closing that 100k deal. Yeah, I wish. Uh, I I, I wish he can do it. Do you use a website to generate leads? Yes, we also pay for PPC, but I rarely, um, I, we only spend uh, very minimum, 10% uh, 10, 10 of our marketing is on PPC, networking, uh, from realtor agents, from our Facebook, um, but mostly uh, direct mail. But yes, we do do PPC. On, um, Antonio, happy Sunday. Hey, hey Kong, my girlfriend and I are in this business together. Great, man. That's good it's good that when you have partner it's good that your partner is on board with you in the same business my wife and I are so different personality wise like she we're so different but when it comes to business what we want to do how we want to treat people or, or how we want to be treated or how we want to do business we're exactly exactly the same but personality wise completely different like she's more of a serious I'm more of a goofy um, more of a goofy person start last month and got to property on the contract in orange Texas, congrats. And Antonio, when you do close your deals, remember you guys, when you do close your deals, your first wholesale deal, come back to my channel, pop it in the comment. Would love to get you guys on the channel. Uh, Kevin, what's the best way to find true ARV after repair to seeing recent soul in the area? The best way um, ARV is have access to the MLS. That's the best way because it'll show you all the property, but you can do it on, you know, you can find it on uh, Zillow, Trulia. They have a little map that shows you all the property. But to me, the best is being able to get access to the MLS. You can pull up expired listing and, and all of that, and, and, and you'll see why the property didn't sell and have all the pictures, etc. Travis, happy Sunday, man. How do you track down the owner of a home you find driving for dollars? Skip tracing. And we use, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I don't do it. My wife actually trained up a VA to do it. Skip tracing, we use, uh, what is it? Uh, oh yeah, instant uh, instant checkmate. I think I think it costs money and it's probably pretty cheap per month. But we use instant checkmate. I know there's a couple of free different sites that you can go on as well. I actually did a video on it, so you can go and and, and check it out. Uh, where do I? Where do you get the package? Human seven. I think I already answered you. Human seven. Um, I'll yes, that's correct. No, with no S. It's whole set two million with no S. Somebody already took the S from me. Um, yes, dot com. I only see YouTube website for the package. Um, so let me show you. <clears throat> Let's 
So basically what it is, is I told my web guy is to make it very, very simple. I don't want no advertisement. I don't, I, it's just simple. And then you just go down here. Um, the veto is not available yet. Cause I think you clicked it. It's, it's, uh, the veto is unavailable, but you just go click buy now and then you'll be able to uh, pay for it. And as you guys can see, I put clearly here, no refund. Oh, Hey, um, and if you guys see on the bottom of there, that's my mentor. The guy is so popular. You will be, if you are in Hagerstown, Maryland, He's very popular all over the paper. I'm going to interview him live uh, when I go to um, Hagerstown, Maryland. And also, too, is just to let you guys know, um, just to let you guys know that, um, um, just to let you guys know that I will be in, um, I will be in, uh, I'll be in Maryland probably the second week of June. Um, but the, um, but the RIA meetup, the RIA meetup is on a Thursday. So it's the second Thursday of every month. So if you guys can make it, I would love to see you guys in person and uh, we can shake, we can hug, whatever you guys want to do. High five, whatever you guys want to do. Um, any other question, you guys? Um, if I answer you guys' questions, please let me know. Come make a short video that about what included and add it to your website and just direct everyone that asks. That way you have don't have to repeat yourself yes um so basically i actually started be and then i upload the video to um i upload the video to my channel already and and because i uploaded private because i was not ready to put i was not ready to put it out there i was really really debating uh i was really debating because i i don't want to cost you guys gotta understand that i'm you know, I make my money from wholesaling. You know, I make my money from wholesaling houses. I don't make my money from this. I make my money from that. So I was just debating about competition, etc. And I was just kind of waited out and 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 asked myself, well, why did I start the, the channel in the first place? Is being able to help and being able to add value. Um, but you guys gotta understand, in life, there is nothing. There is never something for nothing. There's, you know, there's never something for nothing. But I was really, really debating, and I said, well, you know what? You know, maybe uh, maybe I will sacrifice. Uh, maybe I will create some competition, but maybe um, uh, I'll sell uh, I'll sell some of these products, and it will also be able to help people out. And I'm just being real with you because I I, I believe you know I, maybe I'll, I'll create competition for myself, but then maybe I'll sell some products and hopefully even out and also to maybe in the you know in the thing I'll be able to help some of you. Uh, because to me, when I first started, that was my biggest, biggest thing is that I was like, I was like, man, put me on a live call with some seller so I can listen, put me on some sell. So I, because to me, that's, that's the thing that I was missing. That was the biggest thing that I was missing is didn't know what to say. Um, for some reason I can't get the video on. Yeah. You won't be able to get the video, uh, Joe, you won't be able to get the video cause it's private. I mean, right now, if I go and if I click it. So because I, I I'm not because it's not done yet and so I don't want to make false promise. But if you guys are willing to pre pre order it, then you know since you guys are willing to invest in me, I'm willing to invest back in you. Is put giving you 30 minutes on the phone and role play with you. And Joe, I will first let you be the let you be the um, let you be the buyer and I'm gonna be the seller. I'm gonna ask you all the questions. I'm gonna see how you answer and then we're gonna reverse the play and you're gonna see what's and you're gonna see the difference. All right. And I hope there's a different, all right? But you're going to see the different. Mark White, there's no S. <laughs> Somebody already bought the site with the S, so it's no S. It's just wholesale2millionnos.com, and then you just buy it by... The video is not going to work, um, but I, I, I told... And then you spy it on the bottom. I told my web developer guy, I don't want any advertisement on there. Maybe, you know, maybe later on I'll add some testimonial for you guys if... The products does help you to close deal then I, I would appreciate if you guys can come back and give me some uh, testimonial video all right uh, but I told him I don't want to put any of you know I don't want to put any of the um, you know I, I don't really want to put in and try to sell the products on the site I just want to make it nice and clean simple and he was talking about welcome then we got to just create a uh, I don't even re remember what he used the word is but he just said we just do one capture page and I said okay make it simple I just want to get the products to you guys as, as quickly as possible and not having to worry about Oh man, watch my video, Papa S. Papa, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. Papas. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, much love, much love from San Francisco. Thank you. I got two. I got, I got the two under contract through for sale by owner on different 
internet listing, I got the main idea from your phone script and added a little of my flavor to it. Awesome, congrats. And the thing is, you guys, when you go through this, at first I was pretty, at first, you guys, when people talk about script, I was pretty, pretty pushed back because I was like, I don't want to sound like a robot, right? But it's not about sounding like a robot. It's giving you all the ideas, all the, all the ideas, and then over time, once you me- once you have memorized all the questions, all the objections, man, you put in your you put a little in you put your personal taste into the whole mix, boom, exploded. You exploded. So basically, basically, you know, once you once you have memorized and learn it, you put in your little personal taste, it becomes you, and then your your personality will come out. Done. Uh so yeah, at first I was I was pretty pushed back when people talk about script too. What actress do you use online criteria? Yep, yep, yellow page. Um, I don't do any of that. Uh, do you just use virtual actress on your? Um, I use a PO box, but I don't put PO box because the postal office has a little uh, street um, that um, the, the little street actress that you can use. But don't put your. I used to put my hat. Oh my God, you guys. Oh man, how long are we at it? You guys, I'm going to tell you guys, this is really funny. Um, I'm going to share you guys a picture right now. <laughs> so I used to put my home address, and guess what happened? I used to put my home address, and the seller <laughs> the seller would drive to my house and saw my car. Hold on a second. I'm going to share a picture of my car. Because on the back of my car, I put We Buy Houses. And then my phone number, it's, it, it's uh, when I first, you know, I was trying to find some cheap way or whatever way I can cheaply uh, to put my name out there. But I think I deleted the picture already. But I put my home address and the seller would literally drive by my house and, and, and call me and say, hey, I, we just drove by your house and um, we got one of your letter here. Um, so what? So uh, so do you want to buy my house? <laughs> but uh, anyways, so don't put your home address if you don't want no seller to drive by your house. And a stock, yeah. <sighs> How do I have the contract that I need made with the right cl- clauses? Um, go to that site. Uh, go to that that site. Ob One TV. <sighs> Maggie, your willingness to help everyone and all of the free knowledge that you share on a weekly basis. I'm why you are now one of the source when it comes to wholesaling. Much respect um, to you, sir. Maggie, thank you for the kind word. I really, really appreciate that. Kong, talk about acquisition manager, please. Acquisitions, I can't even say the word. Um, So Mark, basically right now we have on our team is, man, how long are we going at this? Um, Okay, you guys, 10 more minutes and I gotta take the wife. Um, to go hang out. So um, right now we have um, we have four VA and one purchase manager. Um, uh, one purchase manager um, that makes the initial call, and then we actually have somebody that uh, that will go out and show these property to our buyers if they are a new buyer. If buyers that we can trust, we usually they usually already know, so we usually don't even need to be there. Um, but yeah, it goes to the per- so it goes from the, uh, the 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 first calls to my purchase manager to make an offer or to me to make an offer. After that, we lock the property up on contract. We send it out to the buyers. Once the buyers do the drive by, do their thing, then they want to set up a walkthrough. Then I call one of our um, our person that does the showing um, to the buyers and the seller, uh, and that's when we set up the walkthrough and inspection. It's a one time deal. That's what we tell our buyer. Uh, booty. Have you ever done a subject to deal? If so, can you explain? Booty, no, I have not. I have done it. I have done some owner contract deal, but no subject to. I just want to keep my deal really. Um, I just want to keep my deal clean, and it's always about cash out deal um, to me. You guys, I'll I'll share with you guys. I'll share with you guys my. I'll share with you guys my strength. The the strength is all. Most of our deals is coming directly from the seller. You know, when you talk about REO short sales. Those we get once in a while, but our but my strength is all about 
sending it, send, sending the market and then talking to the seller and, and, and deal directly with the seller and get property under contract directly with the seller. When you talk about REO, bank owned, short sell, pre foreclosure, etc., I don't have a huge amount of knowledge. We have done deals, but it too, typically goes through an agent. They send me an offer. I sign it and I send it back. Whatever problem that's in it, the, the realtor is going to figure out and solve it. But my strength is all about dealing directly with the seller. I get the deal directly with the seller. Um, 90, uh, I would say 90% of our deals is directly with the seller. The other, the other 5% is through networking, realtor, um, referral, etc. cetera. Um, Jordan Dunn, how I get your script. Um, Jordan Dunn, well, you have to go to, man, this is going to be a lot. I don't know. This is going to be a lot of people because if you guys pre-order, I'm willing to spend 30 minutes, 30 minute with you on the phone. Oh man. But, um. Um, Jordan, so you go to the site, it's wholesales, wholesale2million.com. It's a no refund, no exchange. So please make sure that you are ready and committed before you make the purchase. It's $4.95. Oh, man. Any question, you guys? This is your day, your Sunday. Any question you want to ask? Um, five more minutes. Just call me Bob. Hey. I, I um I'm I actually have a question for you guys. So why do um why do American why do American name Robert they want to be called Bob and why do they why is their name Will they want to be called Bill? <laughs> I don't like I like like I don't get it because I have sellers that say hey my their name is Robert but on the phone they're like hi this is Bob and I want to be called Bob or one of them is a uh, Will and they want to be called Bill. <laughs> I. I I just don't get it. Uh, OTV, thank you so much, Kong. Try my best to tie my first house this month. Happy Sunday, dude! Nice, congrats. Uh, well, you're trying, but trying is better than not trying. Uh, um, Sean Johnson, uh, would you set up two mailing per week? Um, so basically what it is, is when we order the list, we order the list and it charges by a price and we send our mailing out. We tell the marketing company that we're working with to send out per week. So let's just say if there's a hundred name on there, they'll divide, they will divide a, 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 the hundred name by, um, by four and then send them out per week. So you want to target these sellers every single week for six or, you know, every single week you're hitting, um, you're hitting, uh, uh, you're, you're hitting a homeowner. It's not the same homeowner. That you're hitting the same homeowner once a month for six months and then you pull up a new list because the list a lot of time people sell their property whatever it is it changes so every six months you want to get a new list that's what my wife said i don't deal with the whole marketing side um uh any other questions before i get off my name is hard to pronounce. That's why I thought you were not answering. Oh no, no not at all. Um, not at all. Um, <laughs> oh man. Um, Joe. Yeah. Um, no, it's not that your name is hard to pronounce. It's just that there's a lot of questions. So I apologize. But when I talk to people on the phone, every single time I say, "Hey, this is Kong," they were like, "Oh, this is Carl." They always. I don't. On the phone, they they keep on th thinking um, that uh, my name is Carl. One of the sellers actually put my name down. Um, contact as Carl and then all of a sudden I said um, you know all of a sudden later she found out that when I met up with her to do a testimonial video I said this uh, you know it's Kong and she's like wait I thought I'm meeting Carl I said no it's Kong like King Kong and then they're like oh okay <laughs> every single time when every single time I get on a phone conversation sometime when I tell a seller hi this is Kong they say uh, who I said Kong like King Kong and it makes them laugh makes make seller laugh on the phone you guys it's it's a good thing. If you can make them laugh, it's a good thing. So if you are, so if you're funny, you dominate it. <laughs> if you're funny, it's going to help. My name, uh, Jordan is list source. On, yes. List source is the only place that we get our list. Nick, uh, oh, they are nickname. Okay. Got you. They are nicknames. I got gotcha. you. How do you talk to buyer on the phone? Very simple. Uh, very simple. 
Um, but I think I have a video where I talk to a buyer. I wish the other day my wife and I was driving. I wish I was um, somehow got recorded because I was on the phone with this buyer that just contacted us because he was referred to us by an agent and he's looking for some property to fix and flip, but he couldn't find any deals on the uh, on the MLS, on the open market because there's so much competition now. And uh, the agent told him that we, we do a lot of wholesale in the area. So he was on the phone with me. He asked all the questions that a buyer would, would ask. And man, um, and, and thankfully, I was able to answer all of his questions. And it would have been a perfect, uh, perfect call for you guys to listen in. But obviously, I didn't have it recorded. Ray G. All right, you guys, I got to end the live. Thank you for everyone that have able to join me live. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. If I forget, if I don't answer you guys' questions, I completely apologize. But uh, thanks, you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.